Hey Deckers, SteamOS 3.46 is now live on the Stable channel. That means that everybody can now get this and it has some awesome additions, not just fixing the focus issue on Forza Horizon 5, but also the awesome Mesa driver update is also available. This brings some awesome fixes to Wolong Fallen Dynasty, which not only fixes the graphical issues that were being encountered, but it's actually improved performance quite a bit for me. I've noticed that this is much more stable now and does hold over 30 frames per second pretty solidly and it even pushes 40 on a lot more occasions now. The other thing I've noticed is, especially in the boss fights, it does feel much more snappy. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, I actually stand a fighting chance now. With all the chaos going on and abilities, it still holds over 30 frames per second and actually feels much more responsive, meaning I might actually beat this boss. I was hoping to show that in this clip, but after three or four attempts, I decided I'm going to take a break but at least it's actually possible now. Doom Eternal also has officially got ray tracing thanks to the Mesa Driver update. And again, this is now available in the stable channel. Now it's not a huge difference that you see, but it does make it much more immersive in game. And again, what I did notice mostly is that by turning ray tracing on, we are actually holding above 30 frames per second again. As per my previous video in the preview channel, this absolutely tanked the frames per second previously, making this battle down into the 10 to 20 range. Whereas as you can see now, even with that ray tracing on and all hell breaking loose, it's much more performant at 30 to 40 frames per second. Lastly, it has also brought the graphical fix for Resident Evil 4's demo. Although it still needs a few performance tweaks, as you can see here, it does look pretty good even on the low to medium settings and frames per second are between 30 and 40 but without that graphical fidelity issue with the weird graphics all around the character this definitely is now playable again it's slightly better performing than it was before although i do feel like this needs a bit more work still as it does still feel a bit jerky hopefully they'll work this out for the main release of the game but you've got to hand it to valve these driver updates alone are bringing huge updates to the Steam Deck and it's really exciting to see what's in store this year. I'll be wrapping up my year video for the Steam Deck very soon so do keep your eye out for that especially as the Steam Deck gaming channel is now officially a year old. We can officially say that we've had the Steam Deck for over a year. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving back into these games or what games you're excited to see whether the Mesa drivers add performance to as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.